morning. It's a cool day today, or cooler anyway. It, it's got up and it was 59 degrees when I woke up this morning. You know, it's giving us hints that fall is coming. It's toward the end of August now, and uh, I am excited for the cooler weather. But I needed to get out. What about you? Do you ever get that feeling when you just gotta get out? almost like cabin fever in the summertime. So today, I'm going to a little trail that is about 35 miles south of here in the, near the Oklahoma town of Copan. Dan here. Thanks for joining me. nice to be out on the trail. Uh, this is just about an eight and a half mile trail. It's supposed to be pretty easy. Not a lot of elevation gain at all. And, uh, but there's be some wildlife out here. There's quail and deer, raccoon, squirrels of course, and lots of different kinds of birds. So we'll see what we can see out here. Just nice to be out, stretch the legs, and uh, be able to share with you. The dew is heavy this morning. Got my shoes pretty wet. Gotta check those out. Shoes are pretty wet. See those? Uh, only got about a quarter mile in, and you know it's. The trail you can see that it's not used a whole lot um, a lot of growth through here it is a trail it's also for equestrian use so there's horses that uh, come out through here as well this is a u.s army corps of engineer project Got some potential to be very pretty. I think it gets down by the lake. Uh, some of the pictures that I saw off of all trails were showing some lake shots. So maybe we'll get out of the tall grass and into, into something else. We'll see. Okay. 
it's just fun to be out uh, even if it's just a day hike it's fun trying to come up with a, a couple of more hikes uh, in October but I'll be making some videos of this building project that I'm doing at home Just finishing out these rooms for my wife and I excited to to do that I enjoy doing construction projects like this but also uh, really looking forward to finishing out my little studio and hope that can improve what I am able to to share with you in the way I share. Looks like there's a blind over here maybe. Uh, there's typically no hunting in here but they do have a couple of special hunts apparently and uh, they said that they will announce the closure of the trail from hiking during the hunts. I am seeing a lot of deer track through here. We've gotten a couple of rains recently, but we could sure use a lot more. Well, the lake is finally breaking through. It's very pretty out here. Okay, so here's one end of the trail. Now we'll turn around and start back to the beginning. And to be honest, this last quarter of a mile, I came out here and I sort of walked down this easement for the road, on the shoulder of the road for that quarter of a mile, because if I stayed on the trail, it went through growth that was felt like this right here. I couldn't find the trail. It was just too much to try to fight through it and bushwhack. I'm halfway through my, my trail for the day and I'm getting thirsty. And it's just a good time to talk about the first and I I say the smallest because it's the smallest package. It may be one of the most important items that I want to share with you today. And uh, that's what 
goes in my water when I'm ready to drink a drink. I've talked about before electrolytes, you know, and you can certainly, you can get these Nun tablets and uh, put them in your water. You can get them from REI or online or a lot of different sources. Any outfitter probably is gonna have these Nuns. This one is a sports, so it's got some, um, in addition to the electrolytes, it has caffeine in it. This is a lemon lime. It's not bad, I sort of like it. But my favorite, and I've said before, is this LMNT element. There's no sugar added. It has a thousand milligrams of sodium in it. Now that may sound like a lot, but understand when you're out here on the trail, you're sweating a lot. And you're sweating out a lot of sodium that your body needs. So this puts it back in. It also has 200 milligrams of potassium and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Um, and my very favorite of element electrolytes is this one. This is watermelon salt. It's very simple. This is just a powder, so you, you open your water bottle. I use these one liter smart bottles and um, and you just tear this open. And you pour it into your water. Just like that. Pack your trash away, leave no trace. And then just shake it up. Whether it's whether it's hot or whether it's it's cool. I use electrolytes in one liter a day and then the rest of my water will just be plain water. That'll be enough electrolytes to get me through the day. Just one, you know, sometimes we don't know. And so we will uh, put electrolytes in every <laughs> every bottle of water that we have. I've done that, and I've actually nearly gotten sick because I had so much in me. Uh, but one liter a day with electrolytes, and and you're good to go. Mm, I really like this. This watermelon salt is so good. Growing up in Alabama, that was one of the things we always did with our watermelon. We would sprinkle salt all over it. Maybe it's just taking me back to my childhood, but I really like it. All right, let's back on the trail. Well, coming down the trail, I came right up on this guy. He is a the forest engineer. This is just a marvel. I'm not gonna break his web. I'm gonna go around him. Uh, let you see him from the back side. It's amazing what these guys do. Yeah, there he sits on the back. Pretty thing, almost looks gold. Looks like a gold nugget. All right. Trail keeps going that way. Let's keep going. Well, the second slightly larger thing that I want to share with you is this shirt. This one is made by a company called Blackstrap. They're USA made. Uh, when I got the idea for this from a friend, OG, who, check out his channel, I'll put a link to it right here, but um, he, uh, eyes are burning from sweat. Well, OG hiked the Appalachian Trail this year and he had a sun shirt. So what this is. His was made by Patagonia. Uh, long sleeve, it protected his arms from the sun, it protected his body from the sun. This one is UPF 50 protection. Um, and his was made by Patagonia, mine is made by Blackstrap. There were a couple of things I liked about this shirt. Uh, I thought more than I would the Patagonia. Now, they both have hoods, which is a good thing, because you know, you can put it up over your head and uh, protect your, especially your ears from the sun. When I was hiking the Appalachian Trail, I got severe sunburns on my ears and uh, I didn't put, I didn't put sunscreen on them. So they were exposed and they burned and, and it was painful for several weeks. So this has a hood, 
But it also has something here on the sleeves. It has these thumb holes and hand protectors. It comes down to the knuckles. Uh, you know, I've got my hands gripping around my trekking poles so my fingers don't get exposed. But again, the backs of my hands were exposed and they burned from the sun. Um, this is also made from a very stretchy, uh, sweat wicking material, sort of like your athletic t-shirts. And it wicks the sweat away from your body and cools you down. Uh, so even with long sleeves, it's not hot. And uh, you get the sun protection. OG wore his for five months as he hiked up the Appalachian Trail every day. And he still wears it. He just, he just hiked Grandfather Mountain in West North Carolina, and uh, he was, had his shirt on again. So uh, I thought, if OG can do it, I can do it. So I'm excited to test this out, and I'll be wearing this a lot more, I'm sure, on future hikes. Well, the, the third thing I wanted to share with you while well, I'm out here on this little hike is a change up to one of my big three, uh, my backpack. When I first started hiking, my first backpack, besides the Army, <laughs> was uh, an Osprey Atmos 65. It was a 65 liter backpack. Very comfortable. Had a system with the harness that fit against your back with a mesh uh, screen called an anti-gravity system uh, it was just very comfortable it kept the load sort of off your back a little bit and let air flow through there very nice but it was heavy that thing empty weighed nearly five pounds and uh, so when I first started the Appalachian Trail that was my pack and I still use that pack for weekend hikes but uh, for a longer hike, it's just too heavy. And then I met Ben of Hilltop Packs. And Ben made me a backpack that I love. And it's a frameless pack, but it's very light, made of Dyneema, very strong material, uh, very water resistant. And I have used this pack now for, oh, I don't know, a lot of miles. But as my back ages, I sort of long for that system again where it, uh, the straps are a little more comfortable and get a little airflow across my back. So going back to an Osprey, and this is going to be my new backpack, I think. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay on the path. God bless you.